Hey everybody, this is Rich again from Technically Fun. Today we'll be installing a smoke screen system. Uh, most people probably haven't heard of that. What that is, is basically smoke that you put inside your car. Okay, it's not really available in the US. This is the stuff that we're going to be using, okay? Uh, basically, it's from the UK. The company is called Pea Soup, or at least the product is called Pea Soup. They stopped selling it a little while ago. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I'm hoping it has nothing to do with the safety of this product. I don't think it will. But there's a guy named Ben over there that uh, runs this whole joint. And from what I've seen, the product is pretty impressive. Uh, it's a kind of an alarm system that fights back. Now, there used to be the auto taser system. For those of you that remember back in uh, 1999, they probably stopped selling them. Uh, it was a bar that you could put on your steering wheel. And when it was set off, there were three 9 volt batteries in there that basically turned this thing into a taser. Um, I had one of those and it was actually pretty cool. Uh, eventually the remote started to go and I looked for some more online and even guys that like have some back stock are trying to sell them for about 500 bucks and I'm not going to pay that. Um, this was actually a lot more money uh, with all the canisters and paying the 20% uh, volatile um, transport tax or whatever that is. Basically I ended up spending about 800 bucks. but. Um, it's going to be kind of cool, I think. Uh, no one's really seen this in the U.S., I don't think. Uh, so we're going to install it and um, show you what it does. Okay, so of course one of the first steps is planning this whole thing out. You're given about this much hose, and this will go from the canister to the unit that actually heats the smoke up and disperses it. We want to make sure that we have enough length. We also want to make sure that this is in a safe, secure spot. You also can't move this beyond a 45 degree. So when it's mounted, you want to keep this as upright as possible. You can go up to 45 degrees, but they try to tell you keep within like 10 to 20 degrees. And I think I found a perfect spot. It's going to be right here. All right, so nothing too complex here. We're just going to use the old uh, measure twice, cut once scenario. Uh, this right here, uh, I, I, what I did was I tried to put this hose up against here when it came out of the canister holder. And what I noticed was that because I had so much sound deadener, probably about three or four layers here, it was really, really thick. This is a plastic hose and I don't want to snap it and I don't want to stress this joint too much. So I cut uh, some of those layers out and then I used some urethane gasket material and um, some piece of outdoor plastic in order to give me some room so that when I place this in here, that wire can go right into that channel and uh, not stress this joint too much. It'll also allow me to keep my canister at roughly a 90 degree angle, uh, maybe an 80 degree angle, and that's well within the manufacturer's spec. So I've already marked these holes, and we're gonna drill, and then mount this, and that should be it with step one. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this thing ain't moving nowhere. It's very, very solid. Here's our plastic tube. There's a lot of play right there, which is exactly what we want. No longer putting any stress on this joint down here. Now that it's mounted, we don't want to put the canister in yet because it is pressurized. And so we can move on to step two. The canister comes later. Mm -hmm. 